Hello and welcome to B2B Cambodia's Tax Update, the show where we break down Cambodia's tax laws and regulations with key experts in the field. This episode will be discussing annual tax compliance with Ms. Bajiravan Chamnan, Tax Director at DFDL. Hi, thank you so much for speaking with us today. So today we'll be discussing annual tax filing. So firstly, could you just break down what annual tax filing is and what steps are required in the process? Yeah, thank you. Um, actually, it's not like a new requirement for the annual tax on income return or some people they call corporate income tax. Mm -hmm. So it's like an annual filing and the standard rate for the cap annual uh, tax on income is 20%. For the annual tax on income 2023, what I uh, uh, would like to inform you is that the deadline for the filing is approaching, is due by 31st March this year. So every taxpayer or uh, enterprise that they have the uh, GN 31st December 2023, they need to file the return mm -hmm. uh, in the e-filing system of the GDT and attach with their financial statement and uh, power of attorney if the preparation is the tax agent of the company in the e-filing and submit by the due date. If the enterprise fail to do that, they will be penalized as the obstruction of the tax law or they can be uh, imposed on the additional tax 10% and interest 1.5% per month if they have any tax to be paid for the EN. So for this point, it's very important that uh, all the owner of enterprise or the staff need to be aware of to be make sure that they will not be penalized in the future. Could you break down very briefly the steps it takes to file your annual tax? I can say that uh, in the preparation of the tax on income, it, it is a very uh, key point that you need to uh, extract all information from your financial statement and put in the tax on income working and calculation. Especially the main point for the taxpayer to be aware of is on the adjustment. Mm -hmm. What item need to be at back? What item that the tax law allow? not allow or not or disallow we call uh, adjustment on the deductible of the uh, expense or non-deductible expense or any income that you need to make adjustment and in your GN computation you need to be make sure that your accountant or especially your agent understand about your company transaction. I would recommend that the enterprise they should uh, I mean hire the qualified employee or we can employ a uh, qualified staff to, to review or to prepare their, their tax on income or qualified tax agent uh, uh, to, to minimize all the tax risk in the future. Could you provide some examples of what is deductible and non-deductible expense? Yeah. Uh, for non-deductible expense, it would include like entertainment expense, which the company incur during the year. Uh, or any tax expense that is not the uh, obligation of the company to pay. It, it means the tax expense that borne by the company, such as mm -hmm. withholding tax or tax on salary that borne by the company. It needs to be added back to the tax on income calculation. Also, the uh, donation expense is not allowed under the law on taxation. Um, and also have expense related to the previous year or expand that extravagant or not related to the business operation and also have the other expand like expand that does not have supporting document because sometimes uh, the company they record the expand but if it does not have supporting document to prove or justify the nature of the expand it would not be allowed to claim as deductible under the tax law. So this is the main item under the non-deductible expense. And for deductible expense, it's very simple that the expense need to meet with the three criteria. Mm -hmm. First, the expense must have supporting document, either invoice, agreement, receipt, or any supporting uh, voucher that can justify the amount of the expense. The expense must relate to business activity not like the expense for paying school fee for, for the staff or the director, something like that. And third point is it might be uh, precise and not extravagant. So these are the main, uh, the main condition for the deductible expense. And it also has some other special condition to determine about deductible and non-deductible expense, like just salary unpaid within uh, six months after the year expand to related party. Yep, all these things need to be analyzed carefully by the enterprise or taxpayer when they prepare the tax on income working. So uh, this is just only the example only. Yep.
Thank you.